Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to answer the most common question I get asked. So one of the most common questions I get asked is when I make my videos, how do I put myself in the upper right hand corner like this? Well, the secret is the software that I use. So the software I use is pro level broadcast software called Wirecast. Here's what it looks like. And you can see here I'm currently recording and I can go through the different layers. Right now the bottom layer is the screen background. I can actually even change that to be different views of the screen. I can put myself there and I could also then go to this layer here which has me in the box in the upper right. I can put the logo there instead and you see I can do all this live. This is meant for a live broadcast but I actually use it to record to a file and it makes it very easy for me to record what's going on on the screen over here and put the camera input up here. This is all happening live and I can switch live and when I do a single little take I can actually save it and put it directly into the finished product. Now if you're interested in finding out more about Wirecast you can go here and if you're interested in purchasing it you can use my affiliate link here. But chances are you probably want something a little simpler maybe to do some screen capture uh, with yourself up in a corner and there's a little brother to Wirecast called ScreenFlow by the same company. Now with ScreenFlow you can record what's coming in from the camera at the same time it will capture everything going on on the desktop and it will give you a little countdown there and then after the countdown it starts recording and you can start talking and demonstrating something on the screen. Like I'll just bring up a little finder window here. When you're done you go up to the top here hit stop record and then ScreenFlow goes into its next mode which is an editor and you can actually scrub through the timeline here and see two tracks. One is your camera the other is the screen recording. Now you can take the image of you from the camera and actually move that around and manipulate that in a variety of different ways. Put it in a box, do a bunch of different things, have a drop shadow and that way you can basically get the same effect. It's a little bit easier. It includes an editing tool built in with the screen capture tool and allows you to record camera and the screen at the same time. Now at 99 bucks, ScreenFlow is much more reasonably priced for somebody wanting to do occasional screen capture videos. You can find out more about it here and if you're going to purchase you can go to my affiliate link here. So another alternative is to use iMovie's picture in picture technique. Now you can't record yourself and the screen at the same time using that. What you would do is record the screen say using QuickTime 10 then bring that screen recording into iMovie, record yourself with a camera and then overlay one on top of the other with picture in picture. Of course syncing the two up can be difficult but one thing you can do is you can record yourself on camera while you watch the video play back say in a QuickTime player window and that way you can get the timing just right and you have to just adjust exactly where the picture in picture comes in when you make the video in iMovie. So there's a look at three ways to create screen capture video with yourself in the corner using either Wirecast, ScreenFlow or just using QuickTime 10 and iMovie. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.